Hey everyone, it's Sebastian Torres. Recently I've been looking into more alternative ways other than stable diffusion to generate videos with AI. Now, some of the big contenders are obviously Runway ML, but one of the biggest questions that I've been asked recently is, can we use this for filmmaking? And the thing is, probably is the short answer, but not really. Okay, so in Runway ML, you have the ability to generate the videos using the new Gen 3 Alpha, and it's actually quite simple. I'm going to run you through, I've got enough credits to maybe create a few more videos. I've, I've blown through all of them using Gen 3, so I've created quite a few videos. Trying to get some semblance of consistency, it's just not happening at all. So let's see how fast this actually goes. Um, and how consistent it can be. So let's write down a prompt and see how close it can get to the actual thing that we want. We're not going too detailed into what we want, but let's let's see what happens now. Uh, unfortunately, with Gen 3, we don't have as many customizations as we do with Gen 2 yet. Let's have a look. As you can see, the car is going backwards through, and you got some odd parallax going here like there was no way that that building would disappear into the back like that's way too far away you got some cars going forward some cars going backwards some cars about to smash into like sidewalks so it's not great it's not what you think it is you're not going to type it in you know you're not going to try and create fast and furious in here type in some you know prompts and then all of a sudden you've got a scene from fast and furious it's it's definitely going to struggle quite a bit now does it look great it looks okay some of them look better than others they're not all perfect if you're interested in seeing more videos like this check out my patreon on the patreon i have a whole bunch of tutorials videos and downloads and that way you can try it out i've also been doing a lot more videos about visual effects on there not just ai because i feel like we can actually use the two together eventually we will be able to use the two together and so i don't want to let the visual effects side kind of fall to the wayside because this is something that we can kind of integrate into our visual effects so in this one i got a little bit crafty with the actual uh, prompt so i said a shark on top of a red sports car speeding through a city with explosions going off in the background and let's see what it gave me and i can tell you one thing it did not give me a shark it definitely gave me some explosions but it's very odd does it look awesome of course it looks awesome there's a whole bunch of explosions the cars going off everywhere but it's not great now i tried it again as you can see it gave me no shark at all it just gave me the exact same sports car i mean it looks exactly the same it's similar but it pretty much looks like the exact same thing it, lo it looks amazing this one is probably my favorite out of all of them because you can see that the fire looks cool you got this fire going down the side here which actually looks amazing but it's just not something that you could use for a film i have the issue that i'm pretty certain the model was trained on a lot of video game information so a lot of video game files video files because a lot of it looks like GTA 5. It looks like a or third person camera looking down on a car as it drives through a city. So it looks exactly like a game engine, basically. It doesn't look like you don't get uh, variations in like how it looks, which I found kind of odd. It might have just been the prompt that I used, but I tried a few different ones and each time it looked like a third person camera looking onto an actual car um, so all right so we'll get away from cars and we'll go to when I started generating people and things like this if you're making like a like a trailer or something like that uh, like a sizzle reel for a horror movie this is freaking perfect I mean it's odd it does some weird things with the hands um, but you know all AI does weird things with hands but as you can see visually it looks amazing now the issue that I have with it is obviously because it's a lot of baked in color information it's not going to be easy to recolor this afterwards okay so you know you can it's just not gonna look great I tried using the exact same uh, name so I use a name generator to get uh, a name and using the same name did absolutely nothing. So it's, it doesn't actually work in the same vein as uh, Stable Diffusion, 
Whereas you can see, you can use the same name. And this one made me laugh because I'm like, I have no idea what she's doing with her hands. At first, it looked like she was eating something and then it, her fingers kind of morphed into whatever she was eating. Um, visually, it looks amazing. Um, her hand and her hair looks kind of odd. But her hand kind of comes out of her face for some reason. And then I got into doing some woman in a red dress going through a forest sort of thing and as you can see visually it looks amazing there's some glitches in her dress the dress flowing looks kind of odd but the forest looks amazing you've got all this fog going in there it looks incredible like visually this looks amazing like you could probably use this for I don't know stock footage or something like that I started using the exact same prompt and then just trying different like you know iterations different little bits and pieces in some cases I would just run the same prompt over and over again and yeah it's it's not consistent in the slightest unfortunately sometimes it looks amazing sometimes this kind of looks like a painting in the background it doesn't look fantastic I asked it to have the character kind of facing it way because it kept on doing the character facing way. This is a bit of a thing. Sometimes it gets stuck like showing things from like you know, the back. So I'm like, all right, I'll ask it to turn around and that's what it did. It just showed me the character terrified for some reason. Maybe because I said an eerie forest. And so then I thought, all right, what if I ask for the character to start and suddenly fly away? So let's see what it gave me then. And then her legs freaking disappear. She starts floating away like she's got her knees bent forward. It looks freaking weird. So I figured, all right, let's turn the woman into a dragon. That didn't pan out so well. Where the hell did her legs go? Like her legs literally faded away. And instead of being a dragon, her dress just turns into weird wings. Weird. Like it looks awesome. Don't get me wrong. That looks incredible. But I don't know what is going on there. So I did that twice because I'm like, well, maybe that was just a fluke. Maybe it'll fix it up in the second one. Um, no, I didn't. Not at all. You could probably turn this into a music video and it would look amazing. You would run out of credit before you got to the end of the music video, but aside from that, like, it would look incredible. Half of the song would look amazing. You'd have to start looping videos because you'd run out of footage eventually, but it would look amazing. And I asked it to do like a generational spaceship stuck in orbit over a planet, slowly torn apart by the gravity. Didn't give me that at all. That wasn't great, let's try it again. Basically the exact same prompt, maybe change a couple of things. I don't understand why, this looks like cutscenes to me. Like, I don't know if you've noticed this, but the majority of these actually look like cutscenes from a video game. So it's probably like Halo type thing. Can't use this for a film though. I mean, you could probably try, but it looked terrible. And then I even went and said, all right, damaged spaceship crashing in a forest explosions. Visually it looks incredible, but then all of a sudden this this fire just started that's not explosion that's literally just fire um and the spaceship looks like it's going in ultra slow motion while the actual camera is moving through to say at this point like you shouldn't use you know blender you shouldn't learn visual effects anymore because ai is going to take over it's like it's, it might get close but it's not taking over anytime soon i'm telling you right now it may take months it may take a year can you make artistic expression you can you make art using this a lot of people are going to say it's not art it's ai but let's keep an open mind now can you make art with it in terms of moving pictures and things like that yes you can of course you can because it creates incredible imagery it's not consistent in the slightest for instance you won't get the same character over and over again unless you actually pay to actually train. If you pay extra, you can get them to train a character or a location into your actual model, like their own version of a Laura, basically. And then that way you can get a little bit more consistency. I haven't tried that out yet. I'd like to hear from anyone who has tried that. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, click subscribe and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when more videos like this come out. Let me know in the comments down below what was your results with it? Like, is it something that you think could really help when it comes to filmmaking? And I'll catch you guys next time.